Exciting news, ladies and gentlemen, fans of the Witcher franchise, as the Witcher 4, that's not the official name of the project, it's what we're going with, presumably a sequel to the Witcher franchise taking place in that same universe and kicking off a new trilogy, codenamed Project Polaris, officially by CD Projekt Red. The Witcher 4, as we're going with for now, is taking a more active role in development at CD Projekt Red, as it reaches roughly about 65% of the total staff that's working on the Project Liberty DLC for Cyberpunk 2077. We've long known about the multitude of Witcher projects going on at CD Projekt Red. There's Polaris, which is this new entry in the Witcher franchise. There's Sirius, which is a multiplayer spin-off title within the IP. You have Canis Majoris, a full-on remake of The Witcher 1 that's going to be using Unreal Engine 5. And that doesn't even include Project Hadar, which is a brand new IP coming from CDP Project Red. And then you also have the Project Orion, which is a sequel to Cyberpunk 2077. CD Project Red is a busy, busy studio, but now a large majority, as I said, is shifting their focus onto the Witcher 4 project. And we could actually take a look here at the official slide coming from the studio. I pulled it into Photoshop. We're going to see why in just a little bit, but you could see how teams have shifted going as far back as December of 2021. So just before the start of this new year. And you can see things like support for Cyberpunk 2077, represented by this yellow bar, has shrunk to basically a skeleton crew. Gwent has still some development members, but again, very small team. The Witcher Monster Slayer has become effectively non-existent at this point in development, and standing pretty consistent is the Phantom Liberty expansion. The thing that has grown, which is represented by this bar here, is the new Witcher game. And the exciting thing about this, if we just sort of turn this layer on that I made here, this bar represents the, it's just copied and pasted and dragged over, but this is the total amount of team that's working on the Witcher game compared to the Phantom Liberty. So again, about 65% of that total staff. And when you add in this red section here, which represents the multiplayer project coming from the Molasses Flood, you have almost the entirety of the team working on Phantom Liberty is the same amount of people, developers, are working on Witcher-related projects at this time, which is very exciting indeed. And if we look ahead, once Phantom Liberty DLC starts to wrap up and the support, it's not going to look exactly like this, but roughly speaking, and I apologize for the poor cutout of these bars, but if we rearrange them and mash them together, if you were to move about 100% of the Phantom Liberty team over to the next Witcher game, this is about what it would look like, meaning a lot a lot of developers of course that's not going to be one-to-one -one. many team members from phantom liberty are going to be shifted around whether it's the witcher remake to help there whether it is the molasses flood multiplayer project or other projects that are ongoing they're going to be shifted across the board but you can arguably see just for a visual example the amount of members that are going to be focused on this new witcher game after the Phantom Liberty expansion drops, which some people are suspecting might even be a shadow drop at this year's Summer Games Fest, so in about a month, which would be pretty damn cool. Now, before getting too, too excited about this announcement, we do have to keep in mind potential release dates for when we might get to see Project Polaris fully release this next Witcher game into action and unfortunately studio well fortunately for transparency sake studio heads have taken to discuss the time frame that we could expect to see the next witcher project and teams coming from games radar have reported that for polaris preparing the technology because this next witcher installment will be using unreal engine 5 as opposed to the red engine which powered the witcher 2 the witcher 3 and of course cyberpunk studio adam Kaczynski, president has explained that they're prepping the technologies it's the first project to be released on the new unreal 5 engine there is need for some extra work making this technology technology viable for huge open world story driven games so for this project for sure we need some extra effort to deliver the second and third installments should go smoother as technology will be better and the tools and pipelines will be there but this is all i can say 
for now. He did also go on to explain that unfortunately it's going to take more than three years to develop. So the soonest, absolute soonest, that we will be seeing The Witcher 4 is going to be 2025 probably closer to around 2026 or 2027. Keep in mind that when Adam Kaczynski says it's going to take at least three years development, yes, some of that time is attributed to learning the new tools and adapting them for the needs of this open world RPG game in the Witcher universe, and of course making it still feel familiar but also new to players to keep things exciting, whatever new advancements they want to make to push the Witcher series forward. But The Witcher 4 has actually been in development for over a year now, as it was confirmed by CD Projekt Red that they were wrapping up pre-production in May of 2022. To add on to that, in a previous report that was done last year, Adam Kaczynski had stated that some developers are still learning the technology, and at the same time, there are teams working together with Epic on those aspects that are needed for our open world RPGs. For this first project, Polaris, it will maybe not slow down, but it won't accelerate the process. So the ideal hope for fans of the Witcher franchise is that this technology and the abilities that it enables allows them to accelerate certain processes, even though there is that learning curve, they could develop things a lot faster due to the tools that are at their disposal. Once they do learn and become comfortable with them, it will expedite a lot of the development process to make it easier. As we saw with Cyberpunk and its launch, the Red Engine was in some capacity holding back CD Projekt Red from fully envisioning what they wanted to do, as there were a lot of cut features that didn't make it into the final game, as there were promises that were left undelivered, and of course, the overall launch date of Cyberpunk 2077 proves some of the technical limitations that the Red Engine might have, which may have strained development for the next entry in the Witcher franchise. Now, interestingly, in this report, if we take a closer look, what's not mentioned whatsoever is the Witcher 1 remake. Now, we know that both Sirius as well as the Witcher remake are being developed by external teams in order to make those come to fruition. And we can see the amount of staff that the CD Projekt Red is attributing for the Molasses Flood in order to make that vision come alive. Of course, it did only recently gain its footing after having a change in the overall direction of the title. What that yet means for the game itself, we don't yet know because of course a lot of this still remains tight-lipped. Most likely the Witcher 1 remake and the staff that's working on that project is listed under other projects in that 20 April of 2023 row, but there's no actual clear denotation as to how much of the team is working on that project. It's possible it's very minimal, which is a good thing because it means that whatever the team that's working on the Witcher 1 remake is in good hands, they're doing fine, they don't really need the additional support, and most of the developers can focus on the next Witcher project instead, which I think is a good thing. Assuming very few complications, because of course we always know that some unforeseen circumstances happen in game development, just a part of the process, but assuming that those are minimal and the technology and the usage of Unreal 5 helps speed things up, I think it's very possible that we might be seeing this next Witcher game as early as 2026. I feel like that's a safe bet. Four years of active development for the CD Projekt Red team is in pretty good hands. I know that, that Cyberpunk 2017 in particular took a bit longer because of the massive amounts of delays however what I will say is again Unreal should hopefully eliminate a lot of that especially in partnership with Epic Games who can lend some of their staff to support to help with issues when they arise to clean things up and to optimize it for their needs to create this open world game but I would love to hear your predictions down below I'm really excited I've been reading the Witcher books you can see I'm on my shelf right there behind me I'm on the Tower of Swallows and I can't wait to hop back into that universe especially with the Witcher 1 remake which I'm very curious as to where that remake's going to fall within this timeline. But I'm excited for the future of the Witcher franchise. Let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, I hope to see you all next time. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more Witcher 4. Until then, I hope to see you all next time. So long, everybody. That was horrible timing. So long, everybody. There we go. That works.